Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing your weekly reading for March 26th to April 2nd. And please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this does not resonate with you guys, don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay? Um, And yeah, so we're just going to get into it. Um happy birthday you guys like i know it's aries season i just want to say happy birthday to all my aries out there um if you have a birthday today or it's coming up soon just put it in the comments okay i'll be more than welcome to wish you guys a happy birthday okay like <laughs> all right so let's see what's going on with my aries Spray, what's going on with my aries and the person that they're dealing with oh wow your energy we have the emperor here, you guys. So this is your energy. Okay, so I definitely feel like there's somebody that wants to be in control over something. Spirit, what's the current energy between my Aries and the person that they're dealing with for um, March 26th to April 2nd? Spirit, what's going on with my Aries? What's going on, my Aries? I'm sorry, you guys. If you guys hear any type of background noise, it's because there's people that's working on my house, okay? Like, they're doing some type of construction in my house. So, I'm sorry, you guys. Please just don't mind it, okay? Well, let's see what's going on with my Aries. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Sperry, what's going on with my Aries? So we have the Emperor, we have Everything is Fine, the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength, and the Page of Cups. Give me one more card, Spirit. What's going on with my Aries and the person that they're dealing with? The Knight of Pentacles, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups. So I see that somebody wants some type of reunion with you, Aries. Um, I feel like somebody looks at you as some... as their partner like they can have a family with some type of foundation okay all right so let's see what's going on with you guys so first card up we have the emperor here so this is your energy um aries so i feel like you guys um hold on wait hmm I feel like you guys want to work on something with somebody, okay? Because we have the Emperor and then the Eight of Pentacles right beneath it. So I feel like you guys want to work something out with somebody, okay? Like, or this could be your person's energy, Aries. Just flip it as you can, okay? But I definitely feel like there's some something here that... Either you or your person wants to work something out with each other, okay? Because I'm getting this energy was like, all right, you know, we have a separation. You know, we weren't good. We was going through a lot, okay? And now this person, they want to come back in and they want to have some type of um, stability with you, okay? And I feel like you, Aries, want to be in control over the situation. You want to control this person, okay? Or I feel like this person wants to control you and control um, working things out with you, okay? But we also have the everything is fine card here. So I feel like this person is kind of, you know, in their feelings about something. You know, they may act like they're okay, but deep down this person is going through a lot, okay? Um, maybe it's because you, like the energy isn't reciprocated here. Maybe... This person has a lot of love for you, Aries, and you aren't showing them that love back to them, okay? Because I feel like this person, they do have a lot of love for you, okay? Because we have the Page of Cups here, and I feel like you could be dealing with um, a water sign, it's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but I think this person, they want to come in and they want to offer you this love, okay? Because I see the love that they have for you, all right? And I feel like they want to take control over this situation. They want to work things out with you here. But it's like they're thinking about something, okay? And it's making them feel really upset. 
okay? Maybe it's maybe they think that they're going to get rejected from you, Aries. Maybe it's because you act like you don't care about them or you don't want to work things out with them, okay? But whatever it is, this person, they view you as somebody who, you know, they don't want to let go of, okay? I feel like this person, they really want to hold on to you. They don't want to let go of this connection, okay? Like, they definitely want to build something. They want to have a reunion. They want to have a new beginning with you, all right? And I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles here, this person, they want to offer you this um stable um offer to you but it's like they're moving slow they're overthinking a lot with the everything is fine card okay i feel like what's on their mind is like you are just going to reject them but let me clarify this you guys because i really want to see why this is here okay because i'm very interested so let's see Please clarify that everything is fine card for my Aries. Why is it? All these cards have flipped out, you guys. I'm sorry. But let's see. Spirit, clarify that everything is fine card for me. Why is that everything is fine card here for my Aries? Oh, wow. So these, these came out in the reverse, you guys. And I don't really read reverse cards. But it seems like this person is kind of upset because you aren't, you know, making any type of move towards them is what I'm getting here. Um, the chariot card is about movement and, you know, taking some sort of action towards one another. But this person is kind of in their feelings with the everything is fine card because they think that there is no sort of action here. There's no sort of movement that's going on between you and this person, Aries. And this is what's making them feel very upset, okay? And it's like they think that you don't care about them. They think that you lost all of the passion that you used to have for them, okay? I feel like this person, they, they had an understanding that you did have a lot of love for them at once, Aries. But now it's like they're thinking that you don't care about them. You don't love them anymore and that you don't want to chase after them, okay? Like, this is literally what's bugging this person out, <laughs> like... Yeah, like we have the Knight of Swords here. This person, they want to take some sort of action towards you. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands. They want to take some sort of action towards you. But it's like they're having this fear and doubt that this action isn't going to be taken. Whether it's by you or it's by them. Because it's like they're overthinking. You know, they have so much in their mind. It's like things. This is like holding them back. You know what I'm saying? Like this thought is just keep on holding them back. They're overthinking. Okay. Okay. But I feel like with the strength card here, you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, this person is trying to stay strong, okay? Because I feel like this person is, you know, in their feelings. But it's like they're trying to stay strong. They don't want to give up, okay? Because this person, they have a lot of love for you, Aries. And they really want to have some sort of commitment with you, all right? Because we got the Page of Cups. They want to offer you this love. They want to offer you this new beginning, Okay, but we also have the Queen of Swords. They feel that you are going to act cold towards them. They feel like you are going to cut them off. They feel like you are going to reject them. Okay, and this is why they're bugging out because they think that you don't want to take some sort of action towards them. You don't want to work things out with them. You don't care about them anymore. Okay, now this could be your energy, Aries. But, um, yeah, just flip the energy as it is. Okay, but, um... Yeah, like, this is what I'm feeling about this person. Like, they do have a lot of love for you, but they feel that you don't really love them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they feel like the energy isn't reciprocated here. All right? So, let's see. Um, What's their energy towards you? Spirit, what's their current energy towards my Aries? What's this person's energy towards my Aries spirit? We have the Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting and hesitation. Oh, wow. So I definitely feel like this person, yeah, like with the strength card here, I feel like this person is trying to have that faith, having, you know, trying to have that hope that things are going to work out between you and them. Okay? Because this person, they really want to have some sort of, um, commitment, relationship, friendship, whatever it is, this person wants it with you, um, Aries. 
Okay, so let's see what else. Spirit, what's, this, what's their current energy toward my Aries? We have mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. Okay, so I feel like this person is literally putting on a mask and it's like they're not showing you how they feel. Okay, it's like they're hiding that they want this with you. Okay, and it's so funny because we have pretend here and it's like with the everything is fine card, that kind of looks like they're pretending to be happy, but deep down this person is kind of screaming in the inside you know what i'm saying so yeah <laughs> but yeah this person is literally like going through it without you aries all right but let's see what else spare how is this person feeling about my aries what's the current energy toward my aries we have paradise happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other yeah like literally this is how i feel their energy is they want to have some type of you know, just connection with you, just a bond. Like they want to have this solid foundation with you, Aries, because they feel that with you, they will feel much more happier, okay? Like you make this person really happy is what I'm getting here. And they want to be able to show you that they're happy with you and they want to have some type of relationship with you, okay? So let's see what else. Bear, how is this person feeling about my Aries? What's their current energy? We have separation. Wow. Sadness. Missing you. Thinking about you. Yearning and unsure of future. Okay. So this person is literally sad without you, Aries. Okay. Um, yeah. This separation between you and them is literally like weighing on them. Okay. Like they want to work things out with you with the Eight of Pentacles. And it's like, it bothers them that you and them aren't together. And it's just like, I just want to work things out with my Aries. And it's like, why are we separated? Why aren't we together? I just want to see them. You know, I just want to show them how much love I have for them. You know, I want to offer this love. Okay. You know, this person, they're thinking about you a lot. And then we have both. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Okay, yeah. Like, I feel like this person is going to go after what they want okay you could be dealing with a sagittarius because i know one thing about sagittarius when they want something they're gonna go after what they want okay and i feel like that's literally like what a sagittarius would do okay now you guys are a fire sign so you could be dealing with another fire sign okay but yeah and the last message or energy we have is Focus, we have self-indulgence, by the way. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Okay, so this person, they feel that, um, yeah, like they're getting this energy that you are working on yourself. You're being independent. You don't need them. Like, you're better off without this person, Aries. And this is what's weighing on them a lot, Okay. But, um, yeah, so this is going to be it for today's reading, you guys. Um, if it resonated with you guys, please, just, please give this video a fat thumbs up. Comment down below, okay? And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, okay? And stay tuned for the video, the next reading. That will probably be out in the next three days, okay? All right, guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.